Two Potterville children were treated like animals by their parents. That's what an Eaton County prosecutor had to say about a couple that has been convicted of child abuse. Lauren Fultenberg has more on the so-called discipline that got out of hand. A jury has convicted Megan Degner on two counts of felony child abuse. Her ex-husband, Sean Degner, pleaded guilty to the same charges in January. The victims, Sean's two teenage children. This was torture for them. It was inhumane. It was, these children were treated like animals. They were tied up to their bed at night. They were beaten with belts. They were, didn't, only had about one meal a day. The couple's 13-year-old daughter ran away from her Potterville home to Child Protective Services. Then Potterville police conducted an investigation. Uh, a police officer's investigation is everything. Uh, police officers are responsible for actually putting the case together of interviewing the witnesses, finding the relevant evidence, and supplying all that information to the prosecutor's office. But the most important testimony in the case came from Megan Degner's sister-in-law, Tara Hall, one of the few people who actually witnessed the abuse. She told the jury how she saw long, skinny red welts on the girl's arms and legs. The girl told Hall her stepmother had beaten her with a stick. On another occasion, Hall says she saw Megan grab the girl's hair and yank it forcefully. When Hall talked with Sean about the abuse, she was told Megan isn't the only one who disciplines the kids. This was above and beyond discipline. This was inhumane. It was cruel. It was excessive. Sean and Megan Degner could each get up to 10 years in prison for child abuse. We reached out to both of their lawyers for comment. Neither of them got back to us. In Eaton County, Lauren Fultonberg, Fox 47 News. The children are in a residential treatment program. Sean Degner is scheduled to be sentenced on Thursday morning. Megan Degner will be sentenced next month.